All right, so we're going to open up the box of scents. I have pink lighting on today to go with the perfume. Okay, so let's look. <laughs> I just decided to pull it out. I don't know why. Okay, so we're going to just go through. I'm not going to put all of these on. I'm, in fact, I was told not to put them on my body because I might regret it. But we're going to go through and we're going to read them. So I'm, I'm going to be honest. My eyes are really bad. Oops, where's the camera? This is the camera. So the writing is very small, so I'm going to do my best to read it here. Do they not label? All right, so uh, this is a sniff and guess game. Dude, there's so many, right? Um, so I guess the proper way to do this would be to apply it to a napkin and then sniff the napkin. Um, but you guys all know I'm a little bit hardcore over here. So what I'm going to do is for the first one, I'm going to pick randomly and I'm going to apply it to myself and we're going to just do the little rub and sniff. So I'm just going to, I'm not going to look cause some of them are very yellow. It kind of looks like bottled urine. I don't know if you guys can see it's, that doesn't help. You guys see how yellow this is? It looks um, like olive oil. Wait, this one has a label. It's called Rien. Wait a second. You or someone like you. Oh, wait, some of these, some of these do have, wait, is this the label? La fin du monde. Oh my God, it's all French. E de protection. <laughs> what does that mean? Uh, what is the smell of protection? Um, should I put protection on? <laughs> Let's see what, what else we have here. Um, she was an anom anomaly. All right. We have a scent that's called she was an anomaly. You or someone like you. Oh, right. We already looked at that. Okay. Let's go in order. Fat electrician. I'm not joking, you guys. This says fat electrician. I'm so sorry if anyone. Never mind. Try this one. Oh my God. Where is it? Okay, you know what? You're just going to have to take my word for it. This scent is called Fat Electrician. I'm going to put some on. I think this could be fun. All right. So, uh, <laughs> wait, let's keep reading through. We're going to stick this one upright um, so we know. So then we have one that's called The Ghost in the Shell. The Ghost in the Shell. That sounds, that sounds mysterious. That sounds like something I'd want to wear every day. Um, we also have one called, what is this called? Herman A. Mescotes me parasite un hombre. <laughs> I don't know what that means. Um, jasmine et cigarette. So this is jasmine and cigarettes, I guess. Very cool. All right. Then we have, ooh. Then we have um, Exit the King. Exit the King. What do we think that means? Um, I'm going to assume. Well, actually, I just had a multitude of different meanings run through my head. Do we know what Exit the King is? I am trash. <laughs> this one is called I am trash. Oh, you can't see it. Okay, I'm going to have to take close-up pictures of these, but this is called I am trash. I'm going to put this one as a contender for my scent tonight. Like this. This one's simply called like this. Okay. This one is called remarkable people. Mm, remarkable people. Ooh, okay. Uh, Tom of Finland. Who the hell is Tom? Okay, so we don't, I don't know what that one means. We have un emerete. That sounds like almonds. That sounds like it could be nice. 
We have soul of my soul. Soul of my soul. That also sounds nice. We have spice must flow. Spice must flow. Okay. I don't know what that means. We have 500 years. And finally, we have experimentum crucis. Okay, so I don't know if any of you know Latin, but what would crucis mean in this context? A royal flush, I'm trash, SoCal. <laughs> the smell of protection, logic dictates it's high octane or gunpowder. Ooh, I love the smell of high octane. That could be really good. Aren't we supposed to wave and waft? Isn't that the correct scientific process? <laughs> yes. Uh, in before one is liquid ass. INB4 is liquid ass. Which one? Sniff around and find out. Okay. <laughs> what have you done with our calf? I know. <laughs> all right. All right. So uh, let me see. Um, I am going to, I'm going to sniff the fat electrician first. Um, I think <laughs> I don't want to overwhelm my nose. Okay. Okay. <sighs> Which one should I just stick on my body first? I am trash. The fat electrician. Uh, remarkable people. That's a nice one. Um, what is this? Lost in the smell. Oh, the ghost in the shell. <laughs> That's very different. Got anything that smells of pineapple? Ooh, a fruit fly. I wish. I wish there was a fruit fly one. I'm gonna sniff this fat electrician. I'm just gonna do it, guys. I'm sorry. I'm a spontaneous person sometimes. So I believe the proper way to put on uh, perfume is you shake it, right? And then you just kind of, you make sure the hole is pointing the direction that you want the sniffs to come out. And then you just kind of. I don't smell my electrician yet. Ah, fuck. It just all came out all of a sudden. Ooh, this actually smells good. Okay, I'm getting some strong vanilla notes. We're sniffing the fat electrician right now. I'm getting... Ooh, pine. I'm getting some pine. Some vanilla. It's kind of like, do you guys have old drawers? And you open up the drawer and you just, it's like a cedar drawer or a pine drawer. I don't really, I think it's actually more like pine. Maybe it's like dusty pine and you just sniff the inside of your drawer. That's what it smells like. I'm not getting a butt crack though. Okay, how f how long was I muted for? Okay, so I just spritzed myself with a perfume called I Am Trash. If you're just joining the stream, I am testing a mystery box of scents. Um, I am a little bit sad. I'm looking for the one that's supposed to smell like blood. Okay, I'm going to be honest. I was looking for blood. I just smelled I'm Trash. So it kind of smells like lemon peel. I guess it depends what you put in... Excuse me, Siri. 
Okay, so actually it does have a weird scent to it. Um, it smells like melons and lemon peel. It smells good. I think this is a lie. Okay, hang on. I'm going to look up the one. So my friend said that there was one. What does waving do? Oh, I was trying to get it to evaporate faster because when you spray it on, it's just like there's still a lot of alcohol in it. And I feel like that might, um, I've noticed that the scent changes a lot as it evaporates because with the fat electrician, um, it smells totally different now. Like it, at first it was very sweet when it was still like wet on my wrist. But now it's more dusty and cedary and piney. So let's see. I want to see what the blood, which one the blood is. She sent me a picture of that one. Um, let's see here. It is called. Oh, no, wait. Did, did it not? It doesn't say. Oh, okay. It might not actually be on here. Is this the secretion set? They have a secretion set where you can smell secretions. No, I don't think I don't think this is the secretion set. I'm so upset. Brypasaur, welcome to the stream, Brypasaur. How are you? All right, we're going to just we're going to pick another scent. Um you heard it here, caps out for blood. <laughs> I'm going to be honest. Um, <laughs> I really do like watching my blood get drawn. It's really fun. Um, I don't know. I like blood. I know blood makes people kind of grossed out, but um, I think it's very, very cool. Bripasaur. Yes. <laughs> I, <laughs> Our fellow briper. Not really. Um, yeah, the trash. Okay, I don't like, I think I like the fat electrician scent more than the trash scent. The trash scent has just kind of really sweet and it kind of smells like a hot day. Like imagine leaving a bag of fruit in the car. So there were some other weird ones in here. We had ghost in a shell, which I think is really interesting. We're going to, I'm running out of body, but we're going to just spray this like on my, the inside of my arm. Oh, I pointed it the wrong direction. <laughs> Oopsies. Oh, what the? F okay, Ghost in the Shell smells like dial soap. You guys know, um, actually, it smells like Irish Spring. You know the Irish spring, like, green bar of soap? It smells like that. It's not, oh, it's not good. Nice. <laughs> uh, does the secretion set have liquid ass? No, I don't know. But it does have other questionable scents that I can't really say on stream. Um, they're very Gwyneth Paltrow-esque, so I feel like in the future I might get that set just for fun. Or maybe maybe my friend will gift it to me because she's all into giving people scents. <laughs> A guy stole three vials of my blood. How did you let that happen, Siraj? So have you guys... Okay, um, <laughs> I used to just give my blood out for free, and I just realized that you could get money for it. Uh, so I've been thinking about going and donating my plasma well not really donating selling my plasma um but at some point uh I used to work in this lab and we needed blood all the time and um I like signed up to be one of the blood donors and so I would regularly get my blood drawn just like right there and it was really awesome um but yeah it was always sketchy because the vials were expired <laughs> you're not supposed to do that um, how much for a gallon? I don't know. I still, I smell like soap. This, this smells like soap. The old electrician is beginning to wear off. Trash is still there. I don't like trash. It's not good. Okay, let's, tr let's try another scent. Exit the king. I'm guessing that this is regarding poop 
because whenever we poop, we're exiting a king. So I don't know. That's what I think it is. We're going to put it on my other on my other arm. I think this is the hole. I look like I'm about, I'm about to inject myself with something. Ooh, wait a second. This is really nice. This smells like alcohol. Okay, so this is very floral. It smells kind of like your grandmother, um, but with like extra oranges. Um, it's pretty good. It's pretty good. It's like oranges and grandmother mixed together. It's kind of a classic um, perfume scent. If, if I was going to try to equate it to something. You would never wash yourself with Irish Spring, but it smells good to you. Really? So maybe maybe that this scent um, is for you, Ghost in the Shell. Oh my god, you know what would be so fun? So I don't know how long these scents will last, but for the following caffeine care package, you know how sometimes people like scent paper? Does that last a long time? Because what I was thinking, I'll scent the paper because I always write you guys like a personal note because I think it's fun and I like writing letters to people and I'll spray one of my scents on there. It's like it's like um, gamer girl farts, but it's actually legal. It's in a bottle so I can <laughs> whoever wins the um, caffeine care package today, which we'll do, we'll do soon. Um, you can pick one of the scents from this box and I will spray your letter with it. And I hope that it like makes it to you still scented. <laughs> that would be so fun. Then you can experience it too. Yeah. Goop. Goop is bullshit. Um, you don't go around sniffing soap. I have a very intimate relationship with soap actually. So back in my childhood, um, one of the ways in which I was punished for my very filthy mouth, because if you've been here long enough, you know, I swear um, I'm sorry if you're a child, you should probably leave. But anywho, um, I would swear a lot as a child and my mother, um, she was, I don't know where this came from, but she would wash my mouth out with bars of soap. Apparently this is pretty popular, but she, so some people, like some mothers were kind of nice according, like, so I've talked to other children, other adults who were children once about their experience with soap washing of their mouth and their mothers would like just kind of put it in the front part of their mouth. But my mom, she would take the soap and she would just be like, and she would just like stick the soap down my throat and it was just disgusting and I was just like wow you really hate me but anyways I, I guess I was just a really bad kid so anyways I whenever so the ghost in the shell the soap scented perfume really gave me <laughs> some <laughs> wonderful memories of having soap shoved down my throat um, but anywho now that I've shared this very um, personal detail about my life with you let's continue Glenn Kenobi, welcome in, Glenn. By the way, guys, so Glenn isn't a streamer, but he has a YouTube channel where he makes DVD videos, and I've had the pleasure of playing with him on a couple of DVD runs. Um, so you guys should go check him out. He's very talented at DVD. Your gift arrived! Oh my goodness, I'm so excited! We can microscope your plasma. I have thought about that. Um, you know, I can pretty easily remove my blood from my body. And then we could just like put it on a slide and look at it. <laughs> the human body only has about a gallon of blood. <laughs> well, I guess I haven't given a gallon of blood because I'm still here. <laughs> Orangey grandma. Can't capture that in a vial. That's an interesting comparison. <laughs> your grandmother smelled of coffee and baked goods. Aw, I'm so glad you got to sniff your grandma. When I was in the army, there was a guy whose wife would scent up papers like Gwyneth Paltrow scents and mail them to him. Did you get to smell her scents? Oh, so it works. Okay, I will sell I will sell you. I will send you guys scented paper. <laughs> I was once made to wash my mouth with soap once. I called a lifeguard at the local pool. A fucking dipshit. <laughs> like eight or nine riposaur i would have like swatted you with a spoon that is very naughty we don't call people that 
We don't go eight or nine. Your mom should have been washing your mouth out with soap more often. I'm shocked. So the next scent that we're going to get is the really yellow one that looks kind of like pee. It's called Rien. Um, I don't know what this means, um, but we're going to we're going to put it somewhere. Now, I've completely tainted my body with other scents. So my hand is still untainted. So we'll just do a little bit like right on the hand. The holes are so tiny. Oh, OK, this is interesting. So I'm getting um, I immediately got kind of a vanilla whiskey scent. Um, it again smells kind of like an old person. Oh no, this is weird. I don't know what this is, but it doesn't smell good. It smells kind of like, um, an upholstery, like a seat that, um, you know, like imagine you have a really sweaty butt and you sit down on the upholstery and then you, someone else goes and sniffs it. It smells, oh, it smells like Play-Doh. It's bitter, though. It smells like bitter Play-Doh. Oh, I'm getting some fart smell. Okay, so I'm getting the slightest hint of a generic fart smell. So I know that um, as humans, we all produce farts of varying strengths and scents and, um, you know, complexities. You could almost compare fart smelling to sort of like coffee drinking. There's different tasting notes. And there's something called the generic fart smell, which I feel like if you have ever read like a book um, where they have the little scratch and sniffs, they sometimes have fart smell. This is, th this is the smell. This is the generic fart smell. Hmm. Ugh, I don't like it, and it's now on my hand. Okay, we're going to do another one. Uh, you were the good kid? Oh, and he was a fucking dipshit? Okay, bribe. <laughs> I'm sorry. Ooh, I just put the fart on my shirt. Ugh. Pheromones are intense. That This is true. Um, there is a really interesting like pheromone hypothesis that's related to how humans have developed such complex major histocompatibility complex structures. Um, basically, it's this molecule that presents that's on your all of the cells in your body that presents different peptides like either viral, cancer, or just normal proteins to your immune system. And there was this hypothesis that women and men but primarily women in this study, choose their mate based off of a specific pheromone. And the pheromone correlate, correlated um, with a different type of MHC than what they had. So basically, if they mate, their children will have a more diverse MHC molecule structure, which means they'll be able to present different, more like more different types of bacteria and virus proteins, which is better for your immunity, basically. And I think this study is kind of like sketchy and bullshit I don't really like correlative studies but there was like this definite trend where women would go and like pick the guy whose pheromone happened to be correlated with a much different MHC than her um so that was interesting like where it's an interesting story of how scent and immunity might be related um but I don't know if anyone has studied that further anywho pheromones are fun um Moving along, the washing the mouth out with soap is a very last century. Yeah, my mom was very last century. I don't know. Hobo Anderson, welcome in. We're smelling things. How are you? Um, Calf, what do old people smell like? They smell like a variety of things, all right? I'm talking about, you know, like older people perfumes. You know that, like... When you go to the store, if you're like in your 20s to 30s, you'll buy a specific type of scent. If you're a guy, you'll buy like, I don't know what the fuck guys buy, but like Axe. They'll buy Axe. You'll smell like Axe. Girls, they'll go to Forever 21 and they'll or like Victoria's Secret and they'll get those like really sweet, juicy, fruity floral scents but then if you're like 50 to 70 or 70 to 80 when you go buy perfume or cologne you're buying like a totally different scent it's a more elite scent almost it's like 
sophisticated, but if you're a young person, it just turns you off, you know? That's the scent that I'm talking about. That's old people scent. Um, you could always wash the canvas before using more scents. This is a good idea. <laughs> or we'll just use my other hand. Do all old people smell of vanilla and whiskey to you? <laughs> just who are you hanging out with? <laughs> oh, God, I don't want to talk about that. Uh, everyone has their own brand, or so I've heard. <laughs> Hello, Reaper. Having the generic fart smell says one of two things. You sprayed yourself with the generic fart smell, or you've touched someone's starfish. <laughs> <laughs> I know what a starfish is, and that's very gross. Um, all right, we're going to pick another scent. This one is called Spice Must Flow. I don't know what that means, but we're going to put some spice on us. Hang on. I'm trying to find a part of myself that, that doesn't smell like anything yet. Ooh. Oh, okay. So this one is, it's spicy. It smells like fake spice. Oh, okay. It smells like you just walked into Joanne Fabrics or Michael's. Um. Okay, it smells kind of like a sweet sort of cinnamon and it, it like a craft store. I don't know. The spice is actually okay. I think that one's actually pretty decent. Um, Burberry Brit Rhythm Pogs. What's Burberry? Oh, Burberry is a brand of perfume. Brit Rhythm. Is that the scent that you like? Um, that sounds expensive. Very nice. I like to wear Chanel. <laughs> My actual perfume that I wear. Um, now this, this bottle is actually from six years ago and you can see that I have not used it up yet. This is the classic. I think this is, no, this is Coach. My bad. This is Coach. Haha, ha. I don't even use it often, so I don't even know what the brand is. This is like the classic Coach that comes in a pink bottle perfume. It's pretty nice. Um, I'm not going to ruin it right now because right now my all my arms smell like, you know, old people and um and farts. Still we still have the farts. It now smells like when you fart inside of a plastic bag and then stick your face in it. Very not good. Oh, very not good. Axe, guys, buy Axum. They smell like ass. Really? You guys don't buy the Axe spray? No one should wear Axe. <laughs> Apparently, guys in the Bay Area buy a ton of Axe. Interesting. How do you know this fact? Oh, is it because that's where I am? Um... No, I just know that, like, my, when my brother was in high school, he would just buy Axe, and he said, like, the Axe spray, and he was like, yeah, all the dudes in the, in the like, locker room, they all use Axe, so I need Axe, too. And that's how I assumed that young adult men wear Axe. So that's, that's my one data point. As someone who's never been to Cali, I have no clue who those two people were. What people? potpourri like candles yeah it is kind of like potpourri the the spice one it's it's like um a potpourri that you've left out for a month though it's a little aged I don't love that Ender hello Ender you're late but that's okay Ender in your honor I'm going to pick a scent for you and we're gonna smell it and I, I mean I'm gonna smell it um, so there were some other interesting ones in this box. There was um, one called Fat Electrician, and I actually really liked that smell. It was pretty good. Um, Reen was bad. I don't remember what that smelled like, but it was not good. We have... Okay, I'm going to try some of the French ones because I don't know what French words mean. This one is called Le Fin du Monde, which I'm guessing is the end of Monday is what it means. Le Fin... Here, French people. Is that the end of the world? Monday is world? 
<gasps> oh my god I've always wanted to smell the end of the world okay so what we're gonna do because my body is now out of space is we're going to I guess I could spray it on my feet but that would be a little weird because I can't really I can sniff my toes for sure I've definitely done that before but I don't want to do that on stream because I don't want to give you guys free footage of my feet so what we're gonna do is we're gonna use this napkin which I probably should have been doing in the first place and we're just gonna rip a strip off kind of like what they do in fancy perfume places and we're going to put a little bit of this end of the world scent on our piece of paper. And then we're going to sniff it. Now, the, I am going to actually take a brief moment to cleanse my palate by sniffing some coffee beans. If you've ever been to a perfumery, you'll know that they have coffee beans there to cleanse your nasal palate. This is so much easier. Oh, oh, you guys all, you, you guys all know what that means. Oh. oh my God, dude. Coffee smells amazing. Okay, now that I've cleansed my nasal palate, we're going to, um, this moaned is pronounced like moaned. Oh, okay. We're now going to put the end of the world, le fin du monde. Mound. Mound. Hmm. This is very subtle. I think it's mostly the napkin. Okay, so th this is actually pretty good. I'm not getting any weird scent from this one. I don't know if I put enough on. There we go. This one's very subtle. I think maybe it needs to dry a little bit. As an Italian, I should know French, but since I'm American, I refused. Why did you refuse, Styles? What is wrong with you? Save that for the only feet channel. Feet sniffing is for private time. Yeah, I know. <laughs> okay, anyways. You know what this smells like? Air. Ooh. It smells like a... Um, it smells like a new car. No, it smells... <sighs> it smells like golf. Oh, uh, what is that smell? It smells like a business person. It smells like... Uh, I don't know. This is very hard. It's like very... Like very cold. And very... um, Very unremarkable. I don't know. The end of the world is disappointing. Okay, I don't like that one. Let's see. Maybe it could be the paper that's making it hard to pick up scent um, because a paper isn't warm like our bodies. And when you put um, when you like put your perfume on like a war a warm surface such as your body, I think it really helps open up the scent. But here we're just doing it on this shitty piece of napkin. We're gonna do the experiment. Experimentum. Cre Crisius, Cris Crucis, Experimentum Cruc Crucis, Crucis. I don't know what that means, but we're gonna just try it out. I'm guessing this is the one where they threw everything into the, into the mix and called it good. Smells like disappointment. <laughs> yeah, it does. It smelled very disappointing. Ooh. Okay, it was the scent. The scent was disappointing. So experiment. It smells like whiskey. Mm, it smells like an old fashioned. It has a little bit of cherry in it with like a little bit of orange peel. And uh, some nice vanilla notes. Yeah, this one's good. It's very orangey. Ugh, I feel like I'm nose blind at this point. This one's good. Okay. Um, I think that I recommend whoever gets the gets the um, coffee giveaway that they should pick the experiment scent because it smells good. Actually, it smells weird. I don't know. It's changing. 
we're gonna we're gonna let it sit here. We're gonna switch over to doing um, a coffee giveaway with marbles because we did reach our um, we reached 62 subs. This is since last stream, so it's accumulation of everything. Um, but we're we're gonna go ahead and give some coffee away. Oh yeah, this is weird. <laughs> <laughs> 